So the good news about this book is that the immune system vaccine that Dr. Virginia Livingston developed 30 years ago is still available today, 10 years after she passed away, and it works for patients with all kinds of cancers. The book tells how it all happened, how she developed it, uh, Dr. Virginia, as we call her, how she discovered a cancer-causing microbe 50 years ago, and together with a renowned biochemist in the Northwest, developed a vaccine for all kinds of cancers. The medical community, as you might know, is now finally acknowledging that cancer is, in fact, an immune system disease. And the FDA has even approved already several vaccines for prostate, uterine, ovarian, uh, certain melanomas, other kinds of cancers. Well, 30 years ago, Dr. Virginia was ridiculed for claiming the same thing. And the good thing about this vaccine also that, is that it doesn't require FDA approval because it's not a one-size-fits-all product. It's called an autogenous vaccine which means it's made from each individual patient's tumor. And the first question I'm asked in some of my lectures is that if it's so effective and so cheap, why don't doctors know about it already? And the answer actually is twofold. First, they do know about it. The vaccine has been made for hundreds of oncologists and doctors all around the country, but their hands are tied. Uh, they're afraid of use, losing their license because the medical establishment has declared that if you're not doing surgery, chemotherapy, or radiation, they can take your license away. I've actually had a few oncologists tell me they're using the vaccine, but if I use their name, they'll sue me. And secondly, if you were running a trillion dollar chemotherapy industry, would you want to see a vaccine available to anyone for 2,000 bucks? The book tells lots of individual stories. I don't have time to tell them all here, but let me tell you one that happened recently. It was too late to make the book. There was a still attractive woman in her 60s who developed a squamous cell carcinoma of her nasal septum. Her tumor was bulging out of both sides of her nose under her eyes. She was becoming really grotesque. She went down to a major West Coast cancer center uh, they sent her from department to department trying to figure out how best to treat her. And finally, they announced that they had to cut off her nose. Not only that, but also part of her skull. So she said, no, I'm afraid not. Uh, you're not going to cut off my nose. I'll find out something or else to do. So when she told her local doc about it, he suggested she read this book. And she did. She got in touch with the guy making the vaccine in the Northwest, started the treatment. And two months later, her tumors have totally disappeared. Uh, the buzzing headache behind her eyes has totally stopped. She absolutely looks great. So there are lots of similar stories like that, which I wrote in the book, because I believe cancer affects every family in America, relatives, friends, neighbors, and every family should know about this vaccine. They should know that it's available and they should know how cheap it is. And I think it's time for the medical community to acknowledge it as well and maybe investigate what's going on with this. There's no prescription needed. Everyone can afford it. So thank you very much.